What's your life goal? And have you achieved it? Yeah, I married you. Aw, gross. You really need to go out there and make sure the whole world hates you. My butthole is all over the internet. A fine wine. She keeps me in the basement and pulls me out when she needs me. If I drink Sambuca, he's getting it. I bought a case. You can tell a lot about a person by the way their tits, pussy, or dick looks. You come near my cheeks and it's not going to be a good day for you, homie. (laughs) This is going to be special. Welcome to the Two Onions Podcast with Danny Daniels and Vic. What's up, guys? I'm Danny Daniels, and next to me is my husband, Vic. Today is still November 26th, 2022, and I am still happily married to my husband. So if you're watching this, don't fall for scammers pretending to be me. Even after that last stellar episode that we just put out. Yeah, that was epic. We literally, this is the same day. Same day. Next week that you get the episode, but the same day. (laughs) I didn't even mention, oh my God, the first episode, I didn't even say welcome to the Two Onions podcast. Welcome to the Two Onions. What a dick. That's that's all right. We have the the, the little intro video that plays beforehand that says welcome to the Two Onions podcast. So you don't even have to say it. We got it already. Man, it's been a while. You know, I got to get it back. I got to like, We do. We do. Within the last seven and a half minutes, we have our first sponsor, (laughs) Bliss Lube. This stuff it's intimate oil, Vic. It's lube. Bliss intimate oil. Lube. No, you're supposed to. It's... Okay, intimate oil. Bliss intimate oil for those moments where you need bliss. I'm Hold really... on, hold this up to the camera. Hold it up. Let them see do this. Why I have to be Let Vanna them White? See, because you're close to you the damn thing. Vanna White. No, I don't know the Vanna White thing. This Alda. Oh, I'll, oh, I'll do the like hand. I'll do the hand motion like goes... because like oh 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 wait, oh, wait. oh 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 yes yes. yes. Okay, so yes. bliss. Bliss is uh, bliss is our sponsor. Um, <laughs> You will be able to uh, click on a link, hopefully, and be able to see that. Not only that, but we're uh, also shamelessly sponsored by our own coffee, BDSM Blend. Go get it. Oh Spank your ass. You'll be begging for more coffee. Now, on to Wait, the show. you got to like pull that mic away from your face. Nah, just, like it. It's maxing out a lot. It's okay. It's good for it. Um, so, I have not used... That's why we have Adam. So, you should talk like that. You should just talk quiet like that. Okay. Use your inside voice. Um, you keep I... talking. I'm going to pour whiskey. Oh yeah, we need a whiskey. Look, well, look, this is <laughs> this is real and raw, okay? Like as you can see, we're getting back into the swing of things. Um, so I have not used Bliss yet. I'm very excited because I'm going to do a. I, I almost said like a blind taste test. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I'm gonna try it out, and I'm gonna do another episode where I talk about it. But for now, I am really excited because I don't smoke weed. Um, I'm not, I'm not big on CBD. I gotta be honest. Like, it's just not, I'm not, I'm not against it. It's just not my cup of tea. As you can see, I'm much more into the, uh, alcohol situation. Well, you really know how to sell something. But no, uh, would you let me finish? Um, so, but I'm really excited to try this because I have no experience with CBD. So I feel like it's going to be like, I feel like this, this for me is going to be like doing mushrooms because I'm a baby. Does that make any sense? No. But in honor of our friend Barry, we're going to be opening up a lovely Lafroy Gacorta case. Ooh, I like that. I've had this, so I have to pretend I'm trying it for the first time. No, you don't have to download it, trying it for the first time. We all know it's not it's your good. first time. How dare you? How dare you? It's, I'm always a virgin. It's my first time. Be gentle. Let's do it in front of the mic. It is such a good I ASMR know, right? sound. I mean, just, just listen to that. Why could you not hear it when you put it in front of the mic? But when you had it fucking six feet away, it, you could hear him. Cheers. We didn't cheers last time either. Hold on one second. Oh, Jesus I'm Christ. My little freak. Did you, how, what did you just say? Wait, you got to put it on the table, Vic. Oh, yeah, this is true. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Barry. Jesus. There we go. <laughs> BDSM, cheers. Bliss, and Lafroig coming to, to you today. Uh, being single, sleeping, no, being single, seeing double, and sleeping triple. Yeah, none of the like, Except for I'm married. But I just like that cheers. Here's to the woman with the little red shoes. She smokes my cigarettes. She drinks my booze. She's got no cherry, but that's no sin because she still got the box. The cherry came in. Cheers, everyone. Is that about me? <laughs> <laughs> Not everything is about you. God, I love Cordicast. That is just a good... That's good so fucking good. Scotch. It really mm, is. I'm Vanilla, getting... smoke. No okay. old ladies. This tastes like if I was to chew on an orange rind, 
by the sea and I just had sex in front of a campfire on the beach. That's better than the old lady earwax. Yeah, so we uh, I was good. an old lady and I was ear fucking her during the holidays with her butter cookies, first of all. Yeah, this is still much better. <laughs> <laughs> smells so good. For those of you that don't know, um, Isla is actually... Well, Lefroig is from Isla. Let's back up here. Um, Lefroig is a Scottish whiskey, the best kind of whiskey. And uh, Isla is an island off the coast of Scotland. And it's my favorite place in the whole wide world. And so much so that our dog's name is Isla. And, <laughs> and, I love- and our, our good friend is the master distiller of Lefroig. Um, just a genuinely nice guy. Uh, so Barry, this is for you. But Barry, I liked Lefroig before you, so yes. I'm actually. I just like it more. You know, because of you. <laughs> Obviously, you're doing a great job. Um, this is already like I thought this so was going to be better, and it's in, not. In, interesting, interesting side note to all of this. Um, Barry was just recently here in Florida because we celebrated our fifth year wedding anniversary. Yes, we are still married. We've been yes. married for five, five years. years. I, I love it when can people we get like a Adam can like cut in like a like a, an applause. Oh yeah, laugh. Adam, give me like like really bad like you know maybe canned laugh track might not be I'm a bad idea. Though, yeah. I'm doing Ashley's cactus dance. Yeah, Ashley's cactus dance. Um, um, but yeah, we we just had a big five year anniversary party and all our friends came in and our friend Barry. Showed up from Scotland because he's a mensch. He's just a mensch. What does a mensch mean? Mensch is Yiddish for the best guy ever. Oh he's yeah, just the, he's just the coolest he's cool. guy ever. We're like, let's not let's not hype him up too much. Yeah, yeah. However, he and I were talking. So <laughs> as, not, as we had said in the beginning of the as I'm we had said in the shit. beginning of the it's, episode, it's not like he's the Macallan Master Distiller. Oh, thank God. <laughs> if he was the Macallan Master Distiller, we wouldn't be his friend. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I have to. I, please don't hate me. So, side note, we did talk about uh, the coffee, and one of the things we're doing is uh, we've partnered up with uh, Joanna Angel and Small Hands, and we did Doom's Whiskey with them, and now we're doing a barrel-aged coffee bean in Doom's Whiskey Barrel, and we're trying to convince Barry, Barry, see, look at this marketing we're doing right now, Shameless to plug. let us do a Lafroy barrel-aged coffee, because I'm sure that is just going to taste fucking awesome. How many different ways are you going to go in five seconds? You were Me? talking, you had like such a good segue into the party. And then you just took I'm a just, left turn. I'm not taking no left turns. This is all, all part of the same deal. You got to follow along. It's like Mission Impossible. You got to keep along with it, man. Why don't you tell people about our party? We had a good party. It was a good party. So we, um, <laughs> good we, party. we, uh, good party. we don't know how to do anything small. It's probably one of our biggest problems. Um, we didn't have a party we had three days of party we had a private dinner at a friend's restaurant for an intimate gathering of our closest 27 friends followed the next day by 72 people on a boat ride followed by 72 people for dinner followed by 72 people on 90. trolleys oh no, sorry 72 sorry. people yes. on trolleys driving around our lovely section of florida and going to the best dive bars you could possibly imagine yes just Unbelievable. We we the dive bar we were at the first one we were at actually had a wedding that occurred. It was oh fuck. Well, okay. Hold some on. For, no no no. Let me finish. It was some form of a biker wedding that occurred in the Notel Motel that was behind the tiki bar that we went to. And at one point in time, we actually heard the guy say, "Cinnamon, can you please come up and do karaoke?" I wasn't sure if I was at a strip club or a dive bar or That's a wedding amazing. or all of the above. But I will tell you this: the taco truck. In the actual lot of a parking, parking lot, lot was the catering for the wedding. It was not. Let's just be clear. This is not our wedding. No, it was this not is our, our anniversary it's party. Our anniversary. We had we gone. Wait, wait, wait. The wedding. wait, wait, wait. We had gone to the bar beforehand to ask them, hey, you're a shithole dive and we love you. But we're, we have 75 people rolling in on trolleys on Saturday night. Is that OK? Because I think they could maybe fit 60 people in this place. And they were like, that's totally fine. I'll be here that night. That's no problem. We're like, okay, cool. And then Saturday night rolled around and we showed up and they all looked at us like with deer in the headlights. Like we had not warned them of this days prior. 
And they're like, by the way, there's a wedding going on on the patio. So now the, the I almost said restaurant, the bar is half the size. And it's going to take you 45 minutes to get a drink. Yeah. But if you do have the drink, you're only allowed two because they'll cut you off because you get so fucked up. So because yeah, they're Mai Tais, so they were they're famous Mai Tais. So yeah, so we did that, Kelsey and then had, Kelsey had four of them, I think. I, I had she three. hid one from me, and I caught her red-handed, and uh, she had the, three or four. So the next day was our actual anniversary. We had an actual party at a private club where ninety of our intimate friends showed up and then drank for five hours, even after they had all been drinking for three straight days. Um, my check yes. liver light came on. It took about a week for everybody to recover, but we ran it out was of pretty epic. We ran out of alcohol. Like, hour and a half, and yeah. then like thousands of dollars worth of get... alcohol flying out the window in in two hours. Yeah, it was great. It's good. So, if anybody was wondering if we're still married, yeah, <laughs> yes, we're, we're still, we're still married. married. We're still, we even uh, celebrated it. <laughs> so yeah, so it was very fun. Did we talk about the t- tacky boat? Yeah, we we said we did we did a uh, we did a boat ride. We said seventy two people on a boat ride. We kind of went around. Our section of, of Florida and seeing all of the big rich houses, but the boat was just tacky as fuck. We had a steel drums. We had plastic palm trees. Though they, the guy who did the catering was freaking was. awesome. That shit was like, I gained 10 pounds just eating that food. Yes. Shout out to Fresh Flamingo. Yes, Shameless fresh plug. Fresh Flamingo. You were, you, were the, you were the shit. The freshest, one the would freshest say. You were the, the freshest Flamingo. And then, uh, yeah. So uh, uh, the, the final night was a tacky tiki theme the theme of our party and the theme of the weekend was cigars guitars and tiki bars and we did all of the above so we had bands like music everyone was wanted was encouraged to dress tacky um we had a costume contest it was it was a great weekend so the person who won the costume contest was a man in a grass skirt and a coconut bra wearing the robe that my (laughs) wife gave him because he was a bridesman at the wedding good job adam Adam. you got to win that one not to be confused with podcast adam podcast we know many adams and then there's you know the other adams that were at the party we got a lot of adams in our lives we do we do we got a lot of but we like them we love them all all our adams are awesome to any of our friends and family listening to this thank you for coming to the party it was a very fun weekend and to those of you that have no fucking idea what we're talking about we're still married. Yeah, basically. we're still that's married. A long, that's, that's the long, the long story. and the short of that is we're still. <laughs> and and for those of you who wonder why we keep saying that, and I know we've posted this, and I know friends and people come and go. Come on, this is ridiculous. Why do you guys keep saying it? It is no joke. It is twenty to thirty people a week who message one of the two of us, if not both of us, with obnoxious comments and stings about how they're talking. My per- personal favorite is the guy who messages me and says, "Your wife and I have had an affair for two years." Really? Yes. Where's the picture of you and my wife together? Well, it's online. Okay, you're not talking to her. It's a fake. How do well, you know? Because if my wife was talking to somebody for two years, I think I would know. Well, well this- we talk eight hours a day. My wife doesn't talk to me for eight hours a day. The scary thing is now is you have these deep fakes. Oh, that's, that's that really is scary. And they can scary. like fake like videos and video calls and like it's very it's actually to get, to get scary. You, like I get a lot of people that like come into like my cam soda shows and like give me death threats. Yeah. And they go to give you to, my to give you an idea. If, death threats are like I've been talking to you. Blah, 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 blah. If, like, to give you an idea, go <laughs> to TikTok and look for the fake Keanu Reeves. Oh, it is yeah. not Keanu Reeves. It is somebody using deep fake technology. I defy you to tell me if you would not believe that it was really Keanu Reeves doing it. It's scary that they can do this shit now. It just makes this worse. And, you know, sadly, some of these guys, in some cases, even girls, they're lonely. They're losing a lot of money and no one wants to help. So with any great luck, if we just keep repeating that we're married on a podcast that gets hundreds of thousands of views, hopefully somebody somewhere will think about this before they write a check or send a gift card or a Western Union transfer to a country my wife has never even visited, let alone is living in. And it's sad because you want to like, I don't want... I don't want people to get scammed as much no. as I joke about it. And like, you know, like I, I go on Instagram and I fucking lose my shit on people because I'm just, I get so tired of hearing it. And I'm going to get tired of people like just sending me these like horrible ma- emails or just like threatening me. Yeah, we've had, you know, oh, we've had threats. We've had stalkers. We've had everything. Yeah. It's just, and it just gets to a point. Like I don't, I don't, let me just get things. I don't have any kids. I've no, I don't have any babies. I don't have parents overseas. I don't have a twin sister. I don't her have any. I don't are, have any siblings. Her father's very much alive. Dead yeah, father is always yeah, a big. My parents are alive. My family members are alive. Nobody needs help. I mean, it's just. 
you know, it's a script. and like, so I, and I hate, script. I hate to like beat a dead horse, but like, I just feel like if I st- start the episode every time saying like, "Hey, this is the date. I am happily married." Like, I don't know. Maybe it'll help one person. It'll just one save only... somebody money. Or you can just send me a hundred thousand dollars, and I'll just call you an asshole. And probably save you another hundred thousand dollars. So yeah. So there you go. Anyway. Anyway, but that went off the rails quick. But hey, now you understand what it's like to have yes. to deal with this. And and one of these days, just one of these days, I want one of these guys who just is so adamant about how my wife is walking out the door to run off with them and is about to show up at their doorstep a year and a half later to just message me back and go, shit, I should have listened to you. Because I've told every one of them, she's not leaving me. You're no, wrong. But, yeah. not happening. Especially not, not for some like rando dude in Ohio. Michigan, however. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. No. Anyway, so remember that? Hey, hey, hey. Let's talk about something you else. You like I'm Ohio bored. more than Michigan. Bored. Yeah. Okay, just saying. Bored. Oh, Michigan and Ohio. I don't mm-hmm. care. Sports. I don't know. Nah, it's just I got a nephew in Ohio. I don't have a nephew in Michigan. That's, That's about it. Fine. <laughs> you got a nephew in Ohio, too. Fine. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Do you remember when we got drunk at Lefroig? Did we tell that story oh, on the God. podcast? We might have already told it. Told this story. Why am I sitting this like? I'm I sitting don't know. So you, you like eat the God awful. I'm just. I don't know. <laughs> so so the 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 story goes, um, and this is how actually we met our friend Barry from Lefroy. We had we had communicated back and forth, and we went to Lefroy and the Scottish. I love God love them, man. They they start they they their reason for drinking is the sun came up, mm-hmm. and that's literally what they do. So the tour wait, is wait, at wait. ten a.m. Wait wait wait. No so, stop with the wait wait wait. Wait wait wait. <laughs> so when you go to Scotland and you want to book these distillery tours, they usually only have like two or maybe three a day, and depending on what time it's at you have to like plan all these distilleries like okay well you know Lefroy only does like 10 a.m or 4 p.m well i have something else at 4 p.m so i have to take the 10 a.m because there's only there's two of them so we got stuck doing like it's a mostly, like honestly, super incredibly most awesome of these tour are at 10 a.m most of they, them are the morning i and actually highly recommend it because they take you through Lefroy. that and was you, the second tour no yes we started at lagavulin Oh, yeah. We okay, started whatever. at Lagavulin at 8.30 well, in the morning. I, I fucking hate Lagavulin. Don't get me started on that. It doesn't matter. We started <laughs> We started the whole purpose of this conversation. We started at Lagavulin at 8.30 in the morning and had six drams of whiskey. That's true. And then we went to Lefroy yes. at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yes. And had six more and drams of whiskey. And when you go to Lefroy, you do this really cool tour where they show you the distillery and they show you how it's made and they show you all the peat, peat fields, peat bogs, whatever. Mm-hmm. Peat, the peat, the you peat can buy, place. You can become a... Uh, Lord of Lefroy. I don't think get they a still one... do that. I think they sold that sold out of that. Oh, we got ours. We got a one foot by one foot square patch of Lefroy. And um, at the end of the tour, it depends on which tour you do, but we did this like really cool one where at the end, um, a certain amount of people get to go into the place where the casks are, the cask house, cask distillery. No, the cask, the place where the I cask. Have no idea what you're talking about. Where the cask take a nap for okay, like whatever. forty years. Yeah, okay. Okay. So you go in there and then you can pull out you take this like long like straw like thing and you go into the cask and you like pull out and you get to bottle your own whiskey straight from the cask and it's the coolest fucking shit ever so we did that and we drank a bunch on the tour so we're at, and then, we're at about 10 or 12 drinks of it's whiskey noon? It's, no it's maybe 11 or it's, <laughs> let's say new we'll be generous let's say new and then we saw barry and barry's and like, we're like you hey! want to try some scotch and we're like Sure, why not? And then Barry ran through every bottle of Laphroaig that he possibly could have Because imagined. if you live in the can. U.S., it's really hard to get Laphroaig. Yes. You, I'm you sure you've two. seen like the 10, and the maybe, the eight, maybe. maybe the 18, maybe, maybe. the 18. Um, The Cardias, yeah, the Cardias, maybe, and the Quarter Cast. mispronouncing horribly. I'm 100%. But, yeah. But and the quarter case, yeah. This may it's be hard to find. So he was like, "Here's this like entire bar. Like if that was yeah, all of Freud." Here's the Cadiris that I've mispronounced. Uh, there's 35 years worth of them. Oh, here's yeah, the amazing. bottle that King George blessed in. I, yeah, like do King you want to try it? Jerked off into this yeah, bottle. Do you want to sure, drink it? I'm so, like, I'm gonna fucking guzzle it down. So, so <laughs> needless, needless to say, we had I don't know. By the time, by the time we left Lefroy, we were well into the mid 20 drams of scotch tasted, and it is like two o'clock. We're supposed to go to Balmore, and oh yeah, we missed our Balmore we missed tour. Because like, remember what I was saying? If I have to like schedule these things out, so you're like, and so we had a driver. We were like, because obviously don't drink and drive, people. Hello, 
And so our driver yeah, we, was we like, hey, are you driver. guys fucking leaving? And we're like, no, we're drinking King George jizz in a bottle. Like, it's amazing. I'm guzzling all this shit down. Um, I'm never going to see this again. Like, I, if you give it to me, I will fucking swallow it. <laughs> so we have to go. So we're like late to Balmore. He's like, I'm going to just like try to get you there. Maybe they'll let you in because... We had like a somewhat private tour, so they were yeah, like, maybe it was like, it'll yeah, be fine. Like half a dozen people go do As the same we, thing, see the back like and how it's made. We're like fucking twenty drams deep. And we're like, I don't give a shit. Just fucking take me to Balmore and give me all the whiskey. Like, and so we go in there. It's beautiful. It's yeah, it's, it's very pretty um, distillery. And because we didn't want to leave Lafroy, because Lafroy also has a very cool bar, and it, we're like, we don't want to leave here. This is like this magical place where like you could have really cool the, whiskey. And it's on the shoreline. <laughs> I mean, it's gorgeous. It smells like salt cool. water. I mean, it's seriously. It's, it's like, like it's very p- it's, picturesque. It's, it's, it's a scene from fucking Braveheart. It's like unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> so then we're like, well, we don't want to go to Balmore. So we go to Balmore, and, and we're it's like, gorgeous it's, too. It's, it's cool. It's it's cool. Yeah, it's all right. And so we go in. And that the lady was the hysterical. lady. Oh, we're like, hey, we missed the tour. You know, I'm so sorry. She's like, that's OK. We're like, well, can we see still see the distillery? Like, it's fine if we miss like the drams like we've been drinking all day, but we can, can want to see. The-. She's like, well, we can't take you into the distillery, but we, we save the drams of whiskey for you Eight in, more drams in, later. in the or like parlor by the fireplace. And I was like, God damn it <laughs> so eight more drams later now we're into the low shit. 30s it's all, all when you go to scotland you get to drink all this good shit that you can't get in the u.s and then of course you get drunk me and you fucking buy it all and you have to fucking figure out how to shut up your ass to send home it's a disaster but so so we wound up doing that <laughs> so now we're mid 30s of the dram in and my yeah. wife informed now, me like, that late, late 20s I was no no saying. we were oh, 32 okay. drams okay. with the 32 32 ounces of scotch later yeah yeah because like the drams are small they're like about a little 32. less than this it's like a little sip it's a quart but he gave me 32 sips of whiskey I'm it's a quart be... you drank a quart of whiskey that's a lot of whiskey <laughs> doesn't want it down <laughs> so my wife then informs me that we're going to the Isla wool mill which is like the oldest continuous wool mill in the world it was supposed to be a surprise because it, we we were living in New York and I wanted to get you a, a suit made and I want you to pick it out. And it was supposed to be this like really cool romantic afternoon, like after we were like going to all these beautiful distilleries. <laughs> so we go to the Isle of Will Mill, which is famous for making all the tartans for both the movies Rob Roy and Braveheart. The guy who runs the place, I don't know, he's Methuselah. He's 130. Do you remember years the guy old. in Harry Potter, the wand maker, and he's like a million and he remembers every wand he's ever made? He's like, Harry Potter, I remember when your father came in here and blah, 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 blah. This was Voldemort. It's that guy, but he doesn't sell wands. He fucking works on a loom and he makes wool and he has like wool fucking everywhere. Like, just wool. <laughs> So, the, so they, the wool mill is literally an old loom, water wheel, the whole shebang. The whole like cha 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 cha. Let us let us now remember thirty two drams of scotch. We bought everything. 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 We I got a so custom suit. It's shit. gorgeous. I got vests. I got hats. She got a skirt. And She's got vests. I mean, this stuff is stunning. This guy's it a was fucking reasonable. wizard. He looks at you. He's like, oh, you're, oh, like yeah, a, fur, you're, a, you're a 44 jacket. And yeah, we're like, no, a, we're not a 40. Yeah, and he, no. Was, and like, jacket. The, guy, the guy bent over and dust came out of his knees or something. He I don't so, know. But he, he was, was such just, a nice guy. I'm giving him a lot of shit, but he was a really nice guy. The place was gorgeous. The suit is wonderful. We live in fucking Florida. Well, at the time we lived in New York. We live in Florida. And we were like, cool, we're going to use this all the time in the winter. We're going to get so much use out of it. We have all these beautiful jackets, which, by the way, we, like, forgot about this because we, they don't they have to make it and then ship the shit to you. So we forgot about it until, like, later on we got our credit card statement. And we're like, oh, fuck, how much fucking whiskey and how much fucking wool did we buy from the wizard? We live in Florida. <laughs> and then we moved to Florida. So there will be no wearing very thick wool suits until we go back to Isla, which we will be going back to yes. soon um, in the winter time, so we can wear these All things. All of Scotland, you can. And I am going to look really good in a suit and tie, and everybody's going to be like, "What the fuck is wrong with you, mate?" But hey, yeah, we're going to be like way overdressed, but we're like, I got to get miles out of this shit because it's been sitting in my closet for two years. Yes, yeah, literally. <laughs> oh. I love it. I love Scotland. I want to. I want to just buy a castle there and just have goats and 
We can have friends have a castle next door. We can have jousting. We can have a ren fair. This ties into the last episode. We can have ren fair titties and a moat. I like moats. Moats are cool, but anyway, only if you have alligators in it. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just a big puddle. We just ship them in from Florida. (laughs) <laughs> we got plenty like of them a, here. There's an alligator like infestation on, and like they're drinking all the whiskey. Yeah. Like they have to like kill off all these alligators be like because the we smuggle them in. Budweiser frogs only will be the Scottish alligators, and you know. Oh gosh. Well, so that was episode two. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Yes. Uh, um, yeah. I will keep you guys posted on the Bliss Oil. I'm going to try it out, um, and I'll let you know. I'll give you my honest thoughts. I'm excited yeah. for that. Shameless plugs. Uh, just go to dannysthings.com and you will see all of the stuff. Uh, yes, my spicy pages, my coffee, my barbecue sauce, my rub, my rub. Yeah. Um, all the stuff. All the merch, the underwear, all the merch. And whatnot. Yeah, my remove to uh, fuck clothing. And 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 my book, as uh, we've talked about many many times. Wait, Wait for, for the, the corn. corn. If you want to know what it means, read the book. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share if you know someone that would enjoy the podcast. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. And I know I said this the last episode, which was so long ago. Yeah. A whole, like, 25 Week. minutes. Um, but I do appreciate that you guys asked us to bring it back because it is fun. Yeah, it is fun. It's fun. And we can drink. We don't want to kill each other. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, thank you for watching. See you next Everybody, time. Goodbye.